Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, you'll learn seven ways to protect your expensive sailing sheets, anchor road, and docking lines from costly damage this sailing season. Double up lines for strength. When in doubt, put out two docking lines for bow, stern, and springs. Take care to keep line lengths even so that each line shares the load. Add a round turn for friction. Tie a line to a slippery rail with a bowline or other knot with an open eye if you need it to slide, but if you need it to stay in place. Take a second turn called a round turn before you finish the knot. This imposes friction onto the rail and will help keep your knot in place. Chafe rises to the top as the number one line killer, but so does the harmful UV rays of the sun. Inspect lines for hardening or wear often, and in particular, roller furling Genoa sheets. You could use sacrificial sheets in port and save money in repairs and replacement costs. Make weak knots more secure. Add two half hitches if you're unsure whether a knot will stay put. The clove hitch remains one of sailing's most popular knots, but it's also one of its weakest. It will spill or untie itself with just a few tugs. Tie two half hitches, remove the slack, and butt up the knot against the bottom of the clove. That will turn your clove hitch into a much more powerful and secure knot. Keep your lines and rope clean. After long periods of time, Rope surfaces chafe, and the strands of the rope might become so hardened that the rope loses elasticity. When you return from a cruise or after long periods of anchoring, give all lines aboard a freshwater washdown to add years of life to your expensive sailing line. Use the constrictor knot as a fast temporary whipping. No other sailing knot I know grips a piece of line with the tenacity of a constrictor. Think of this super knot as a clove hitch with an extra tuck. You can tie the constrictor onto the bitter end of a line to prevent fraying. You can also use it to lash down gear on deck or below, or fix a broken tiller. Use elastic line for shock loads. Think of a boat at anchor or tied up to a mooring buoy, or alongside a pier as always in motion. Even in a general breeze, she'll tug at her lines. In a blow, she'll toss her head and body right, left, up, and down, just like a young stallion. Your lines must be elastic enough to elongate and then recover back to their original length hundreds of times each day. Choose nylon line as your primary line for docking or anchoring duties. This line will stretch and recover with ease to keep your boat and her sailing crew safe and sound throughout the sailing season. Now you know seven sailing rope tips to save time, effort, and money when sailing or cruising on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.